Hello friends, today, uh, sorry, uh, this is Shweta Amre and I will be teaching you computer architecture and organization subject. I hope you guys can see my screen now. So today we are going to start with uh, two main concepts, computer organization and architecture. and the difference between these two. See, um, so these are few points about computer architecture. See, when we are talking about computer architecture, architecture is about the structure of your computer and how your components, how your hardware of your computer is arranged and how it works together as a system so uh, and how your computer is designed so parts like your cpu um, and other hardware like uh, your storage part how they are connected so that part will come under architecture concept so in technical language computer architecture refers to those attributes of a system which are visible to a program see these attributes have a direct impact on the logical execution of a program so these are a few examples uh, which will come under your architecture part your instruction set the number of bits used to represent various data types, um, I.O. mechanisms, techniques for addressing memory. So these parts will come under your architecture. Um, a few more points like uh, which CPU you are going to use, I mean which processor you are going to use, um, what kind of uh, storage you are going to use. So and uh, how you are going to manage that hardware on uh, in optimized space. So this is about all about the computer architecture. And now let's talk about computer organization. Um, see, organization means how your parts, your hardware parts, work together how they operate with each other that is uh, that is your organization part so computer organization refers to the operational units and their interconnections that realize the architectural specifications so under this part comes control signals interfaces between the computer and peripherals, the memory technology. Okay, so uh, let me explain this part in brief. What is organization? Uh, see, uh, I hope everyone knows that um, in any computer we have basically four parts, four, uh, uh, let's just say components, four main components. First component is your CPU. Second component is your storage. Um, and again in storage part you have your RAM. And your uh, RAM is your primary storage and uh, the uh, external memory that is your secondary storage and the um, cut and the bus bus is a device which connects all the parts of your computer so communication is the main function of your bus uh, we'll study that in detail later 
but uh, first you need to understand these are main four components of your computer any computer even if uh, if you consider a mobile a laptop everything going everything is going to have these main four components so how these components are arranged that will be your architecture of computer and how these components work together that is the organization part uh, like um, how they are connected to each other so uh, see when we are talking about bus we have to talk about the data rate at which the bus can carry your data from your uh, CPU to your main memory um, and from main memory uh, sorry again from CPU to your external memory so uh, deciding how many bits will be transferred at each unit of time that is the organization part and the capacity of bus like how many uh, uh, maximum bits can be carried by your bus that is the architectural part i hope you are understanding the difference between architecture and organization see this is very important for uh, you to understand all the concepts because um, in last two years, I have uh, saw all the question papers and all the question papers are based on conceptual knowledge. You only if you understand all the concepts, you will be able to solve the question papers. Otherwise, you probably won't be able to solve the question papers. Now let's uh, go to our next point. Structure and function of a computer. The system consists of set of components and their interrelationships. So the structure is the way in which the components are interrelated and a function is the operation of each individual component as part of the structure. So again, it's like your architecture and organization. So you can uh, say structure is about your architecture and function is your organization. Feel free to contact me anytime if you have any doubts about anything about my subject. okay now let's go to our next point next point is about how your data uh, moves and uh, what are the main operations of any computer okay so this is the um, operating environment of your data movement so so uh, it will show you what is the source and destination of the data see this is data movement apparatus uh, here is your control mechanism this is a data storage facility and this is data processing facility so this control mechanism control mechanism it's more like the brain of your computer which controls each and everything so this so you can see that this control mechanism controls everything it uh, it controls data movement apparatus it controls data storage facility it controls data processing facility so main 
functions of any computer are first one is data processing second one is data storage third one is data movement and last one is control so whatever data you have processing that data so processing will uh, consist of like uh, converting data from one format to another format it's like when you store your word files in pdf format so that is data processing you are processing the data you are uh, trying to um, get some operations done with your data that is your data processing data storage means simply copying the data from one place to another place so it can be from your cpu to your main memory or from main memory to cpu or from your cpu to your uh, external memory uh, secondary storage or uh, it can also mm, mm, the data moving through uh, the bus uh, this all happens through your bus so this part will come under data storage function uh, next one is need data movement data movement uh, data moves through your bus so data will be copied from your cpu to the bus first then the bus will carry that data from cpu to your ram then the data will be copied from your bus to your ram or vice versa if you want some data from the ram then first cpu will send that kind of control signals to the ram so that is your main memory then that data from that particular location will be copied on the bus then that bus carries the data to your cpu then cpu again will send the control signals to copy that data from bus to the cpu okay and uh, then uh, the cpu will process the data so this is how data movement is done and i just said the cpu sends control signals cpu is like brain of your computer so it controls all the operations of any computer so it's like it's like you students you don't do anything unless someone tells you to do something right so it's basically like that see components of your computer aren't going to do anything unless the cpu tells them to do something so this part comes under control <coughs> control function of your computer okay so we have discussed about computer architecture and uh, organization and we have also talked about the functions main functions of your computer remember these functions data processing data storage data movement and control these are very important operations we'll stop for this lecture and we'll see next part in next lecture thank you